Hi, my name is Anita and I made a project about CO2 capturing using ionic liquids. Power plants emit huge amounts of CO2 each day and from 2020 there's legislation that they have to have a CO2 cleaning system. And the commercial product today is called monoethanol amine and it looks like this compound. And this one can absorb CO2 and desorb it again. It absorbs CO2 through a mechanism called chemical sorption. This happens by breaking one of the bonds between the C and the O in CO2. And then this bond will be created between the amine and the CO2. So what happens is that we create a bond between the two compounds. This is a very strong absorption technique because a bond is very, it demands a lot of energy to be broken again. I did some simulation studies on this and it turns out that you have to have 27 kilojoules per mole to break these bonds. Um, so instead of using this, you could use another compound for the, for the absorption. And for this, I, uh, I turned to the ionic liquids. Ionic liquids are liquid crystals, sort of. It is crystals which is liquid around room temperature. So we know the crystals have a rigid structure, a very fine structure where there's cavities in them. And these cavities, in these cavities, we can have CO2. So if we take this, this is a very, uh, this is a very simplified ionic liquid, and then we have the CO2. My simulation showed that these don't absorb CO2 like the ones we saw before. These ones, they absorb them through physical sorption. Here there is an inter an, uh, an connection between the CO2 and the, the compound, but it's not very strong. It's only about five kilojoules. So this interaction can be broken very easily. And, uh, and therefore this actually has a much bigger potential for being a CO2 capture than the one before. We just have to specify it to become a very good CO2 capture.